Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for Recommended Practice Number SNTTC1A Personnel Qualification and Certification in Non-Destructive Testing In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 2, Definitions, and Clause 3, Non-Destructive Testing Methods In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 2 and Clause 3 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Clause 2. Definitions Certification Written Testimony of Qualification Certifying Authority the person or persons properly designated in the written practice to sign certifications on behalf of the employer. Certifying agency. The employer of the personnel being certified. Experience. Work activities accomplished in a specific NDT method under the direction of qualified supervision, including the performance of the NDT method and related activities, but not including time spent in organized training programs. Outside agency A company or individual who provides NDT Level 3 services and whose qualifications to provide these services have been reviewed by the employer engaging the company or individual. Qualification Demonstrated skill, demonstrated knowledge, documented training, and documented experience required for personnel to properly perform the duties of a specific job. Training an organized program developed to impart the knowledge and skills necessary for qualification. Clause 3. Non-destructive testing methods Qualification and certification of NDT personnel, in accordance with this recommended practice, is applicable to each of the following methods. Acoustic emission testing Electromagnetic testing Ground penetrating radar Guided wave testing Laser methods testing Leak testing Liquid penetrant testing Magnetic flux leakage testing Magnetic particle testing Microwave technology testing Neutron radiographic testing Radiographic testing Thermal infrared testing Ultrasonic testing Vibration analysis Visual testing Review questions Question number one Certification is Answer is B. Question number two. The person or persons properly designated in the written practice to sign certification on behalf of the employer is. Answer is C. Question number three. The certifying agency is. Answer is D. Question number four. According to SNTTC1A.
whose responsibility is certification of all levels of NDT personnel. Answer is B. Question number five. The term used to identify a company or individual who provides NDT level three services and whose qualification to provides these services have been reviewed by the employer engaging the company or individual. Answer is C. Question number six. Qualification is. Answer is C. Question number seven. ASNTSNTTC1A defines experience as Answer is D. Question number eight. Which of the following is not an ASNT recognized NDT method? Answer is C. Question number 9. In SNTTC 1A. Recommended training course outlines are include for. Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. 